Hi, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new, I am doing a video that I've never done before. I'm doing a get ready with me from start to finish. So I'm going to do my hair, my makeup, get dressed on camera because we are going to dinner tonight to celebrate Christian and I's friend's birthday. So I thought it'd be a good time to film a get ready with me video. I'm starving, so we're gonna have a little snack. We're gonna make a coffee because I can't function after a work week and function normally into the nighttime. I have two hours and 15 minutes to be ready. So let me know if you like videos like this. Maybe I'll do more in the future. Let me know what type of videos you wanna see in the comments down below. I'm gonna make a snack and then I'll talk to you in a second. Now that I'm out of the shower, I'm just going to brush my hair. I'm going to use this. It's a 10 leave-in conditioner. I love this stuff. I just recently switched back to this. I used to use the Bumble and Bumble one, but this is just my tried and true, the best. I have a little bit left, but I'm going to use this one. So this, this is what my hair looks like when I take it out of a towel. So I'm going to brush my hair, and then we're going to make some delicious coffee. Now we're going to make some delicious iced coffee. So I'm actually going to do a coffee pod. Has anyone, if anyone else buys Oatly, have you guys noticed that Publix is always out of stock of it? I think since Starbucks started using Oatly, I think everyone's just like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I need to buy it. And I think that's why. Do you think it will overflow? Please don't. I might have to hit it. I had to. Okay, I guess I don't have a big enough glass to make iced coffee and that sucks. Cheers to a 6.30 p.m. coffee. Mm-hmm, she's stunning. Next, I'm gonna go in with some moisturizer. I just picked this up. I placed a Sephora order during the sale and this is one of the items that I got. I'm gonna be sharing all the items that I got in an upcoming vlog. So if you're interested in seeing some of the products and all that good stuff, this is one of them. And so far it's good. I've only been using it for two days, so I can't really say much, but it's definitely very hydrating. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I just got this too from the Sephora sale. So far, so good, but I can't really say much. But if you're interested in an update, comment down below and I will make sure to update you on all the products that I use. Next, I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer. It's the T3 blow dryer. I really like this blow dryer. I also have the Revlon One Step and I switch on and off between those. I'd probably use this more because the Revlon One can be kind of drying. So I use this. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair. <laughs> I'm done blow drying my hair I'm gonna curl it and I use this really cheap bedhead wand I'll put a picture of it right here this is what I use and I'll link it down below if you want to pick it up I've actually had this curling wand for a really long time or my sister and I have because mine just broke and I had it for 10 years and my sister doesn't curl her hair so she gave me hers and if this one fails me, I'm just gonna buy the same one because it's just incredible and it's 30 bucks. Love it. I look insane. This is the hairspray that I use. It's the L'Oreal one. It's the extra strong hold. It's so, so, so good. It disappears at the stroke of a brush. So if you spray it and you want to fix your curls or you want to brush through your hair or whatever, this goes away when you brush through it. So you can touch up your hair without it getting so crunchy because of too much hairspray or hairspray that just like stays in your hair. This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup out here in the living room. I just brought my makeup case out. It's not a lot of makeup in here. And then my brushes. Then I'm just gonna set up my mirror. This is one of the best mirrors. It's from Vanity Planet. It's kind of like a ring light mirror, but let's begin. Foundation. 
palette. So I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is my favorite. I have two shades that I mix together. It creates a really nice in-between shade. So I have shade 5 and shade 5.5. This is really good if you have combination skin. I'm going to take Damp Beauty Blender or Eco Tools Blender. I didn't put any primer on. Oh well. If I were to put primer on, I would use the Fenty Beauty one. I've been liking this one. I also like the Too Faced Hangover. But I didn't put any primer on, so oh well. Next, I'm going to use, so I have the Tarte Shape Tape, which can be kind of drying if you over apply. I use the NARS. I used to use it. It tends to crease. It's a little bit too creamy for me. So I use it to just cover up anything. Next, I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape and do just like a s tiny bit in the corner of my eye. And then I take a really light shade and I put that on my lid because I use this as kind of like an eye primer in a way. And then I take a separate beauty blender to, like the small one, to blend underneath my eyes because I find that if I use this it has product buildup on it and you don't want to put too much product underneath your eyes because then it could look cakey and then it could really start to crease because of over applying product. So I use like a clean one and I feel like under eye concealer, concealer is tricky because if you over blend it could break apart, look weird. So you want to like make sure you're not applying too much pressure and you're not over blending. Okay, I just sat underneath my eyes with the Laura Mercier. For the rest of my face I'm just going to dab it in. I am a no makeup artist, so I really don't know if I'm doing this correctly or not. I'm just telling you what works for me. So now I'm going to go in with NARS Bronzer in Laguna. It's really good. So after bronzer, I go in with blush, and I love the Tarte blush in Party. Now I'm going to take my... Hoola bronzer. I use this not as a bronzer. I use this for my crease. I think it's a really good crease color. And I'm gonna take Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's my favorite. But look at those colors. I don't really use these because I'm not that bold. I love warm tones on me. I think they look good and they make my eyes pop. So I like to do warm tones, oranges, reds just warm I find that when I do like the cooler tones it just doesn't look as good on me personally so I'm gonna take this color right here which is Roxanne and I'm gonna put that in my outer corner next I'm gonna take this color right here I think it's mfeo put that on my lid next I'm gonna take this really small eyeliner or eyebrow brush so i'm gonna go in to this more of a brown tone one right here dab it in <laughs> bless you i'm gonna do it across my like i'm gonna use it as eyeliner i think the beauty of this look that i'm going for is like more of an undone look and i've been loving this for day and night time i take my outer corner brush what's it called i don't even know this brush the one that I use for the outer corners and I take it and I just smudge the eyeliner so it's like a smudged liner look and I'm gonna add some to the waterline just on the top waterline this is just like a Maybelline eyeliner next I'm gonna go in with mascara I like the Maybelline rocket mascara it's actually my favorite and I've been using it for years Okay, next I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, which is kind of really heavy, so you have to be really light with this. But that's what I'm using for my brows. Okay, I just finished my makeup, and this is the finished look. I'll show you in the bathroom as well. I haven't brushed out my hair yet. Um, I usually wait to brush it out until after I do my makeup. I always do my hair first and then that way by the time i brush it out 
it's kind of fallen a little bit and um, it's kind of set almost. I just brushed my hair out and this is kind of what I'm working with. I'm like rushing. I'm going to go change and I'll show you the finished look then. Okay. Here is the finished look. I wanted to show you my outfit before I go. This top I've worn before. I wore it in West Palm Beach. It's from Princess Polly. I think they still have it available on their site. And then these jeans are a Goldie jeans. They're worth the investment. They're so good. And Erin just complimented me on them, my yeah, sister. they fit you really well. Um, these are just sock booties from Target <laughs> from a while ago that I wear. And they're really comfortable to walk in. You could wear them all night. And that's the outfit. I'm going to end off this video here and then start a vlog. So if you want to see what... I'm doing tonight and where I'm going and what I'm doing this weekend make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye